Hey, hey Cougar fans, we're here with uh, Coach Jed Stugart, whose team picked up a 42-21 victory over a very talented Minnesota State Moorhead team here at the Bob. Cougars moved to 55-5. and five. I just asked Josh Angulo about going 55-5 and five and what was playing like at, at the Bob. What is it like to you? Well, it's electric out there. I mean, it's kind of that, uh, you know, you just feel like you got that expectation to win, and it's an honor. You know, a lot of people that have come before us, um, and so these kids take a lot of pride in the fact that they don't want to be uh, a part of a team that adds to any of the losses there. So it's uh, it's special to see Coach Young around a lot still, and he comes in, and uh, so it's a special place to play. Moorhead came in here uh, raring to play, wanting to pull an upset. In the league we found already, um, there's a lot of teams in this league uh, kind of stepping up. Uh, how, how do you guys uh, take all that in and come away with a win? Well, I don't think we overlooked them because, I, you know, number one, they saw the film all week. They saw what they did at Wayne State. You know, we talked a lot about being alert. Kind of our word of the week was alert and, uh, and, and to, to alert to the things that, uh, that you know, don't be surprised. And, and so I don't think we overlooked them. We, the fact is, is we didn't play sharp um, offensively, and, and uh, you know, and 42 points and you know, 600 yards of offense. I mean, that's when people say you're not playing sharp. But when you, we don't usually turn the ball over. Um, you know, we don't. Luke doesn't miss throws like that, and, and uh, nothing to panic over. I mean, but the part of I think what a good football team is being able to overcome that, be resilient. So I got to get you know, defensively from the coaches all the way to the players, you know. Uh, just not getting frustrated. Uh, I love our sideline, listening to these guys not get frustrated with each other. And so, um, resilient was the word tonight. That's proud of them. Couple questions to finish up this. First of all, Josh Butler, Cliff Redman, your whole defensive line really played well defensive. We talked about the defense and then quickly shift over. Luke Papillion accounted for every touchdown. Um, he may have played better games in his career, but six touchdowns in the game, still pretty good. And Max Mickey, 185 yards, yeah. following up 178 a week ago. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, we, we knew that uh, number nine is a player. Uh, you know, I, uh, our kids knew that. Um, and, and he was a go-to guy, and we knew that he's the type of kid that they're gonna, he's going to get his plays in a game, and so you know that's going to happen. Um, and so I guess the resiliency of our defense to just kind of keep uh, keep grinding. Uh, we knew some turnovers would come. Uh, Adjustment-wise, defensively, uh, they kind of started nickel and diamond a little bit and, and hitting some slant windows in the seam and in the hook, uh, and hook and curl, and. and you know, to see our, our adjustments and, and being able to get a pick to kind of slow one of those drives down and get the momentum shifted back our way. And because uh, we just knew it was just a matter of time. Uh, so, uh, and offensively, you know, Coach of Orchids is kind of saying, hey, let's let's settle Luke down a little bit and quit asking them to make so many plays with our run game, how it was going. We just decided that we, we knew we could run the ball tonight, but we started going back to our run game. And, and uh, so, kudos to our offensive line for. For that kind of effort. It's 800 yards rushing in two games, Coach. Yeah, real proud of them. They've taken a lot of pride in wanting to be a good run offense this year. And, and uh, you know, and, and look, you know, when you talk to Josh and Brady and Luke and, and the receivers, they're they're so happy for the run game. They, they take a lot of pride in blocking downfield. And so, you know, if it's a night where we, we, we were kind of leaning on the rush, uh, the run game, they don't care. I mean, they, they love winning and they love to see those guys succeed too. So, you know, proud of the family group effort. Quickly end on this. Luke Papillion goes 55 yards around the corner. Kid's got some wheels on him, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he does. And, and, uh, and that's the thing, a kid like that, you know, he, he doesn't get down on himself. He was he was frustrated with himself because Luke's just a guy who doesn't want to let his team down. And so he was feeling like he was doing that. And sometimes when that happens, you try to come back and make plays. And you do too much. And, and uh, you know, and so I think he understands the, the weapons he has around him. And then he's got a weapon in his and his legs as well as, as, as he runs the football. So, um, again, resiliency and just kind of st sticking with it. And I just got to give uh, Steve Lacroix uh, uh, just a lot of credit. I mean, that's that team I told I told you this week, I told everybody, that's a team that's a heck of a lot better. And uh, defensively, they're going to win a lot of games in the North this year. Might be the team to beat in the North. Thanks, Coach. Great win. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate you. Josh, big win tonight. Uh, you guys came back to the Bob tonight and picked up a win. 
Uh, talk about what, how well you thought your team played on offense. Um, obviously, we had uh, I think four turnovers, so that was obviously uh, not good. But um, I mean, our defense to me is the story of the game. They played their hearts out. <laughs> they played their hearts out, and um, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of those guys. They really did their thing. We gave up 14 points offensively, and so if you look at the scoreboard, those guys only gave up seven in my eyes. And that's a heck of a game. Um, those guys are the story of the game. We got to do a better job of protecting the ball, uh, most importantly, and we just got to execute when we get down to the red zone, and we got to start finishing drives. Finally, 55 and five at the Bob now. Kind of cool numbers there. What is it? How do you? How does the team like playing here? Uh, I mean, we love it. I mean, there's so much tradition before. You know, we have been playing on this field, and we just feel honored to be able to play on this field. And to you know, if, if you step on the field and you don't play hard for those that came before you, you're not doing it justice. So we really take pride in playing hard on this field. Um, you know, we just we take it one play at a time, and we try and bust our butt all the time out here. Thanks, Joe.